This is the solution to written homework 022. Give the statement of Fermat's theorem. Uh, well, without so much math notation, uh, in, in plain, plain language, it is that uh, every local extremum is a critical point. So Fermat's theorem, uh, Fermat's theorem kind of looks like this. It's saying that if you've got if you've got uh, local extrema extremum, all of these must be critical points. So the set of all local extrema is contained in the set of all uh, critical points. Part B, the converse of Fermat's theorem is that every critical point is uh, a local extremum. So the converse uh, is making the claim that this is true okay, so for Ma's theorem this is this is true the converse of from theorem is false and part C is asking you uh, to give an example of why uh, Fermat's theorem is false. So uh, the standard example is um, f of x is x cubed because the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared and of course the derivative at 0 is 0, plugging in 0, and therefore uh, x equal to 0 is a critical point. Uh, however, every school child knows the shape of cubic function. So that's the plot of y is x cubed. There is a uh, horizontal tangent here. So this there is a critical point. However, you can see clearly that that is uh, not maximal because these points over here uh, are higher, and it's not minimal because those points over there are lesser. So it's uh, this is a critical point that is not a local extremum. So the converse of Fermat's theorem is false.